Today, I am making my salt and vinegar potato galette. I'm thinly slicing some Yukon gold potatoes. I'm using a mandolin, but you can use a sharp knife. I'm getting these to about an eighth of an inch thick. And I have a half inch of vegetable oil that's been heating until shimmering. Oh, that's a good sizzle. They're lightly browned, which is perfect. I'm gonna transfer them to a sheet pan. It's lined with paper towel to soak up any excess oil. Mm, it smells like french fries. Chives and potatoes go so well together, and chives just look so pretty sprinkled on top, kind of like green confetti. I'll get rid of my paper towel now, and then I'm gonna season these potatoes with salt and pepper and then I'll toss them in vinegar. And the best vinegar for this is just plain old distilled white vinegar. It has the strongest flavor and it's gonna go great with these potatoes. A couple good pinches of salt, some black pepper, and my chives. And I'll give this a toss to get everything evenly coated. Now I'm gonna form my galette. I'll gather my pie dough, some Parmesan cheese, and an egg for some egg wash. I'm using store-bought dough here, but of course homemade dough will work. Now I wanna roll out my pie dough until it's about 12 or 13 inches in diameter. This is where all the potatoes and goodness are gonna go. Hello! Hello! Welcome! Yay. How was your journey? Well, pretty good, but I'm so glad to be here. It smells so good! I'm what cooking. are you doing? I've got some onions that I've caramelized in butter, and do you wanna put about half of them in around eight inches? We wanna leave a border here, okay. about a two inch border. Just half of this? Yeah, just half of it, cause I'm gonna layer it with the potatoes and Parmesan. Awesome. I'm gonna sprinkle it with some Parmesan cool. now. Now the potatoes. So nice. These have some chives and salt and vinegar. Wow. And now the second round of layers, so another layer of onions, and it doesn't have to be a very thick layer. It smells so awesome. I can't wait to eat it. Mm. Me too. How's that? Mm, that's perfect. Now what? My cheese. Dogs love cheese. Okay, so I'm gonna do the potatoes oh, wow, now. wow, another layer. Yeah, so it's just cool. layers of tastiness. Mm. Okay, to crimp the edges, oh, yeah. I'm first Show gonna me. add Show an me. egg Show wash, me. and that's gonna help it stick together. No. Now, I'm gonna fold up a little part of it, mm. just mm. like that and it sticks because of the egg wash. Okay. And then I'm gonna fold it over hmm. for the next little part and awesome. just make a pretty design. Yeah. And if you mess up, mm -hmm. galettes are supposed to be rustic. Okay, rustic. Looking good. Beautiful. Yeah, and perfect. You wanna give it a little hug, hug so it all hug, sticks. Hug, hug. To finish this galette, I'm gonna give it another brush of egg wash around the edges. Egg wash will help the crust get brown and shiny. And then I'm gonna sprinkle it with some flaky salt. Now I'm gonna stick this in the oven at 425 for about 25 minutes until it's golden brown. I am so happy with how this galette turned out. I could smell the potatoes and the pie crust. Okay, and now to just punch up that vinegar flavor, I'm gonna finish it with a splash of my vinegar. You can keep this warm in the oven if you wanna serve it hot, but it's also really great at room temperature. It's a perfect make-ahead dish.